is The Ballad of Davy Crockett, a tall tale kind of a song that's a story about one of our most famous native Tennesseans. So in between the verses, I'm going to tell you some of the facts about his life that the verses are based on. He was born in a river valley near the mountains, and he was born 10 years before Tennessee became a state. He uh, didn't kill a bar when he was three, but he did save his older brothers from going over a dangerous waterfall in a canoe in the Nolichucky River that was near their home. By the time he was eight years old, he was out on, in the woods by himself with his gun and a single bullet because that's all that his family could afford to give him. And he was learning how to make every shot count. By the time he was 12, he was helping his family uh, earn money to live. His father sent him to Virginia to earn money herding cattle but he got so homesick that he ran away back home to East Tennessee. The next year, he got kicked out of school for fighting, and so he ran back to Virginia to herd cattle. By the time he came back, he was a six foot tall, 16 year old. Back in East Tennessee, he hired himself out to a local teacher and in return for the work he did for him, the teacher tutored him in reading and writing. And that's about the only schooling that Davy ever got. Off through the woods, he's marching along, making up yarns and singing a song, itching for fighting. in East Tennessee, he was helping his father pay down his debts. The next year, he went on a community wolf hunt and got lost coming home. Through the trees, he saw a girl he thought he recognized. So he followed her home, hoping that she knew the way better than he did. She did. That was Polly Finley. And soon after that, she and Davy were married and they had three children together. By the time he was 25, he and his young family were living in South Central Tennessee. And it was there in December of 1811 that they most probably felt the New Madrid, Missouri earthquake because it was 8.2 on the Richter scale and it's said to have caused the Mississippi River to flow backward. It created Real Foot Lake. A year later, Davy needed to earn more money for his young family, and so he enlisted in Andy Jackson's Tennessee Volunteer Regiment to fight the Creek Indians who were attacking the settlers. He fought single-handed through the was in store and while he was handling every scene chore, he made himself a legend forevermore. Davy, Davy Crockett, the wild So after that 90 day enlistment, he came home, but he had seen things during that time that disturbed him. He saw soldiers killing Creek women and children and stealing their food. 
And he began to change his ideas about how the indigenous peoples of America should be treated. Uh, later, uh, the next year, he re-enlisted to make money. This time he enlisted for four months with Andrew Jackson's United States Volunteer Regiment to fight the British in Florida during the War of 1812. When Davy came back in early 1815, his baby daughter was born soon after. Later that summer, his wife Polly got sick with malaria and died. As often happened with widowers on the frontier, Davy remarried quickly a neighbor woman named Elizabeth Patton, and he and his family moved to her farm nearby in South Central Tennessee so that she could help him raise his children. And it was here that Davy began his 18-year political career. He went off to Congress and he served the spell, fixing up the government and laws as well. Took over Washington so we heard tell, and patched up the crack in the Liberty Bell. Davy, Davy. representing his community in South Central Tennessee, first in local government, then in state government, and for the last eight years of his life in the U.S. Congress as a representative from Central and West Tennessee. He supported cheap land for homesteaders. He supported the National Bank. He was opposed to Indian removal. He gave his word and he gave his hand that his Indian friends could keep their land for the rest of his life. He took the stand that justice was due every Indian man. Davy, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. So in 1835, his long opposition to Andrew Jackson's policies finally cost him his political life. In 1835, he lost his last election. And he famously said, well, since you all have chosen to vote for someone else, you can go to Beep, and I'm going to Texas. He heard of fought with them at the Battle of the Alamo. They were defeated by General Santa Ana and his Mexican troops. And in March of 1836, Davy Crockett died. But here we are, 184 years later, still singing about him. Because the causes he believed in, the rights of the common man, the power of the wilderness, and the importance of acting on your beliefs are still important to us today. His land is biggest and his land is best. From the grassy plains to the mountain crest, he's ahead of us all. We need a test following his legend in the West. Davy, Davy. Go ahead.